Hi, Dr. Jim Jamison with Youngstown Orthopedic Associates here today to talk with you about topics in joint replacement surgery. Today we're going to talk about the risks of surgery. Risks association, associated with hip and knee replacement include risk of infection, and we give every patient antibiotics to help prevent against that. There's risk of blood loss, which is present with any operation. Today it's not at all necessary for any patient to get blood ahead of time. That should not really be an issue for you. There's risk of injury to nerves, arteries, and veins, also present with any surgery. There's risk of blood clots in your legs. That's called a DVT, or a deep vein thrombosis. We worry about those because if you get one of those and it breaks off and goes to your lung, that's called a pulmonary embolus. That can be fatal. We try to prevent against those by getting you up on your feet right away and by having you take a blood thinning medicine after surgery. Most patients will take a regular strength aspirin, 325 milligrams, some patients are already on blood thinners and we will tailor your post-operative treatment based on your current situation. There's risk of death with any major operation, so it's important that you check in with your primary care physician or your cardiologist for a preoperative medical clearance. For hip replacement patients, there's also a risk of dislocation. That means popping your hip out of place. My job is to make your hip as stable as I can at the time of your surgery, and your job is to protect your hip after joint replacement surgery to keep yourself out of any potential issues. Leg length after joint replacement surgery, particularly hip replacement, is often a concern and we try to plan your surgery out ahead of time so that your leg lengths are equal after your surgery to help make you walk nice and even. Thanks very much for joining me. We'll be back next time for another topic in joint replacement surgery.